Hello everybody, this is Brandon from the Center for Blade Arts in Minneapolis and I've got another hit and parry sequence for you. This one is a bread and butter shot. It's really, really good. It's very high probability. Practice it a lot. It's going to pay off great dividends. I'm going to begin by cutting to flank and then I'm just going to lift my hand right straight up and parry head. My hand is almost in the parry position at, right at the beginning. If I want to cut my opponent's flank, I should already have my hand a little bit below the level of my point so that I can actually clear the furniture and get up beneath the ribs. As I do this cut, if my point is a little bit above my hand, all I have to do is turn my cutting edge up and I'm already in a perfect parry position. So from my guard, I'm going to cut, turn the knuckle bow up, and lift. From guard, cut, turn the knuckle bow up, and lift. From side, like this. And again, when you're doing these cuts, you should be saying out loud initially and then in your head, watch, 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 because you want to see where your opponent's going to counterattack, then close that line. You don't want to go hit and then try to figure out what they're going to do because you'll be too late. Because if you're in range to hit them, they are in range to hit you. All right, everybody, go and get some exercise. Think about sword fighting all day and all night, and we will see you soon at the Center for Blade Arts. Take care. Flank three five. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want that done. Bad. Doing everything.